Hello, hello. Welcome to She Says, He Says, He Said, She Said. We're still trying to decide on the name. I'm here with my lovely wife. And hello. she and I are going to be talking about various topics about things and stuff. And uh, the first episode, like everything that we do here is just going to be a little rough, but we'll work out the kinks as time goes on. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, the Apex Legends update which I gave her the link and guess what? I don't even have it up anymore. Let me click this link and we're going to talk about the live balance updates with uh, Apex Legends. My wife plays Apex Legends, don't you? I freaking love this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so addicting. Yeah, she comes from, uh, you come from Overwatch, right? And you play a lot of Overwatch. Yeah, I found the transition to be easy to play. And even though I'm not the best at aiming because, you know, TF2 was like the first game that I played and I didn't really aim that well. And, mm -hmm. you know, it was just kind of, you know, getting into it. But uh, I found like, you know, this game, I just I want to learn how to be better, you know. So who's your favorite character? Lifeline. Lifeline. Why? Only because I feel like if i can't aim at least i could do something to help my team <laughs> <laughs> and she has so many things in her kit and if i happen to get one or two kills then you know that's right a bonus so i love lifeline okay cool so your favorite weapons i know what they are but tell them tell everybody what's your favorite weapons right now well i've i like the peacekeeper but i can't aim it's so inconsistent for me mm -hmm. so i tr you know i'm trying to figure out what what weapons i i like um i enjoy the eva 8 i like the r99 the r301 mm -hmm. um yeah the, along those lines okay all right cool so we're gonna talk about i can tell you what i like i like the uh I like the Evo 8. That's the auto shotgun, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher the name, so I gotta I gotta check with my wife to make Eva sure. Eight. Eva 8. See, there you go. Eva 8. I like the Eva 8. I also like the R99 and the uh, Spitfire R301. I like those automatic weapons. Um, and I actually like sniping in this game. So whenever I can get a hold of the the big daddy sniper, the big giant sniper that you get from the drops, or the even the triple take with a good scope, I like those weapons. That, those are my favorite. I have gotten into the sniping mm -hmm. but i probably should it, it may up my damage a lot more right because uh at the end of the match i'm like two three hundred I, I get kills yeah but i don't have the damage to match it <laughs> okay <laughs> yep so the, we're gonna talk about the balance patch this this is kind of a cool thing because this is the very first balance patch and it took them a month uh respawn on their uh on their, on their post on reddit said that they want to make less frequent better tested high impact balance changes in order to minimize the impacts on your time spent mastering the game you, you agree with that uh yeah i think it's a really good idea um not a lot of uh companies react it fast when things are you know overpowered or things seem out of balance right um and i think that they waited you know enough time to get people used to things right and you know because of the launch and stuff like that it, so. ki it kind of reminds me of blizzard because uh with overwatch because what they do what blizzard did is that you know they get a lot of feedback and then they 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 put things on ptr and they let it sit there for a while before they put it on live. And then they, when it once it goes live, they make sure that it sits in quick play for a while before they put it in competition. Um, yeah. So they, they give it a little bit of time. And I think the 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 antagonist to all this is Fortnite, because this is what Apex Legends is going to be compared to. Fortnite, they they put out patches every week and they drastically change the game probably twice a month. And I don't know how in the world people can get good at a game like that. And I, I really like what what Apex Legends is doing. They're just saying, hey, you got to get good at the game before we decide, you know, to change everything um, all over the place. So let's talk about what was changed. And uh, I don't want this video to go or whatever we're doing, audio video. I don't want this to go too long because reasons um so the, the first thing is a wingman now everybody has opinions about the wingman some people call it overpowered that it was just ridiculous i think you said that um you said it's inconsistent right i don't, don't want to 
mess uh, it up. For me, it is because I can't aim. So right, right. <laughs> but um, you know, when I watch streamers play, um, it definitely seems just very overpowering if you have the right aim. Right. And you know, you get caught. It's you know, game over. That's one of the things with it with me is that I thought the aim. I think it could have been like the attachments I had, but I thought the aim was inconsistent for me because I would like there'd be a stationary target and I would fire three times and two shots would hit and one wouldn't. And I don't know why that could be probably with hitbox stuff. I don't know. Yeah, uh, something like that. But it's like it, it, the person didn't move and I only hit two of my three shots and I didn't move. So it's weird. So the changes they made was they reduced the rate of fire so you can you shoot a little bit less. Uh, the skull piercer, the, the almighty attachment skull piercer, the damage multiplier was reduced a little bit. It was barely nudged and they increased the base hip fire spread and decreased the rate at which hip fire spread decays. So essentially they nerfed the hip fire and I, I was watching, I think I was watching Shroud play. I think both of us were watching Shroud play and he was using the hip. He was using the wingman just fine. I don't think he was affected by the, the nerf at all. What do you think? Uh, I don't think so either. Uh, he's... He was still murdering people. And that's what yeah. I suspected. It's like, either you can use it or you can't. Um, and this is a very minor nerf. And, and it's the same is true for like the Peacekeeper. Uh, the re the shotgun bolt rechamber, that, that shotgun bolt that makes it so awesome. They they reduced the, the mitigation damage. Or I'm sorry, the mitigation uh, rate of each level. So level one mitigation is 10% to 75 two is is 20 to 13 and level three is 25 to 16 i'm not sure exactly what that means like what is mitigation <laughs> i'm thinking it's like damage uh, mitigation or fall off maybe i'm not sure what exactly that is but that's that's weird um so they they reduced the shotgun bolt effectiveness i guess i guess uh so i don't know what that means exactly but the availability got reduced i think that was the biggest change is that there are less wing like mass. it hasn't changed though really i feel like you still see a lot of peacekeepers you still see a lot of wingmans mm -hmm. um and you still get killed by them so wow <laughs> i don't think it has been reduced that much right because you can still find them around okay well, I learned something today because let, let's just get the one thing clear. I don't play this game that much. If you guys watch my stream, that's when I play Apex Legends. My wife plays it a lot more than me, so I defer to her knowledge for a lot yeah. of the, the facts. Uh, increased availability of energy, weapons, and ammo. Now, this I witnessed firsthand when I watched somebody else play. Yeah, that definitely has changed. You can find them everywhere, but you cannot find that turbo uh, charger as much really um it still does it drops from lifelines uh bundle mm -hmm. but um yeah you it's very rare right it's very rare. okay so i w i think we're watching dizzy i think that's who we're watching Izzy. Izzy. yeah yeah is uh, it dizzy it's dizzy, dizzy. Yeah, okay <laughs> you got me saying it. oh boy um yeah he had he had a full backpack and the entire top row was energy ammo i was like yeah. i've never seen that before I think he had the Havoc. I think he had either had the Havoc or another energy weapon. Uh, I don't even know if the Havoc has energy. But he had a, one of the weapons. And I was just like, that's just way too much ammo. It just seemed like, I mean, you're never going to use all that unless you just shoot in the air for three minutes straight. Um, so those were the main things. Uh, there were some changes to Caustic. There were some changes to Gibraltar. Uh, and there were some changes to the hitboxes. Like, I think Caustic's traps were reduced. Uh, in terms of cooldown so you can play some more and the radius got increased and i think the biggest change for me is that his traps uh the the one second delay before it deals damage was removed so it's like instant damage i think that's the, probably the biggest thing yeah I, I i agree with that there you do not want to get caught in a house or a tunnel or right. anything like that with uh caustic because it will hurt yeah they barely touch pathfinder they just removed a number of like beacons he can use to find out where the next circle is so that's that's not that big of a deal they only reduced, well, it, reduced it by two yeah i was uh reading the uh notes that people commented on and they said that whenever he used a beacon that there should be like a deafening sound that causes across the map that's a good idea well <laughs> i thought i thought that was yeah funny. put a put like a ping and then just show just like with yeah. uh, Lifeline and her, 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 her care package, how you can see it on the, like from the sky, maybe you can have like a visible 
thing like a, a big wave or something i don't know something like that well they they do you could do you do hear the piercing sound but he was just saying that maybe it can deafen people for a little bit you know oh, just like a, a debuff you talking about a yeah. debuff oh okay yeah I'm, exactly oh exactly. that's taking i don't that's know funny. <laughs> yeah that's kind of <laughs> yeah, okay. all right the next thing was lifeline or care package they removed a slight chance that the level four armor and helmets were dropped that's a i think that's tiny I don't think that's a big deal because it had a really tiny chance of getting level four armor and helmets. I think I've seen one maybe twice myself. What about you? Um, I, there was, a, I mean, probably maybe out of all the lifeline packages that I've dropped, probably around 10, you know, that, and I've been playing since release. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, there was like a really slight chance that you would get level four armor. Okay. Really slight. So Wraith into the void. Her cooldown was increased, so she so she got nerfed for uh, into the void. Is that her Q? That um, I think that's the one where she uses to get away. Right, right, right. So that's her Q. Okay. So the the cooldown they added five seconds to the cooldown. So just like they reduced the cooldown for Caustic for five seconds, they added it to her. So that that definitely was a nerf. Maybe she yeah. was invisible a little bit too much. And then finally, Bangalore her double time move speed when she gets shot at was reduced by 10 percent, so that's pretty big too yeah so she, i think she, that should be like a bigger cooldown I, yeah I, because it's like every single time you shoot her she's like double time in it you know? i don't even know what is the cooldown because <laughs> so, this is the move speed bonus that they're nerfed i don't think there is one i don't, I don't think there think is there either is i think either you, i think while you're getting shot at it might stop but yeah. then once the shooting stops i think it just kicks off all over again yeah so exactly that, that i don't know so overall what do you think what do, you, do you think it's a good patch i think it was a good patch um i like the the way that they um just you know responded to what the people were saying about the peacekeeper and the you know what is it the wingman wingman yeah um i think that you know that they're doing a really good job at that even though it's not it doesn't feel like it's an over nerf I just feel like they did a really good job. Okay. I agree. I think uh, I think it was kind of like a, a light nudge. It wasn't like an overbearing huge change. Um, and I think this early in the game, people are still learning the game and they're still learning how to play. People are still getting good. So to make drastic changes, I, I agree with their, uh, their philosophy that, you know, you don't want to make big sweeping changes without giving people time to learn how to play. And the nerfs and the buffs, I completely agree with. I, I really think Caustic needs some love. I think I I, I think Big Boy. What's what's Shield Boy's name? Uh, uh, Gibraltar. Gibraltar. I think Gibraltar just needs a rework. Like honestly, I don't see the dude being played that much. And for me, he gets on my nerves. I'm Bronze League. I'm Wood League, but it's just his shield. Just uh, he just needs something better. I don't know. But it's so good. It's like whenever like there's an airstrike or something like that he can just plop down his shield and it protects your teammates or if you need to heal up real quick and someone's across the map he can drop that so you know it's pros and cons i, mean, I think if I you played gibraltar you would do that i think those things would happen i think when we come across a random in a game there what let me tell you what happens she's she <laughs> my wife she saw this on stream i'm chasing the dude down i'm about to kill him i got the kill shot uh, Gibraltar's like hur, 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 hur. he drops the shield and basically saves the guy's life so the guy is like oh somebody's shooting at me because Gibraltar's shield just popped up and blocked the shot I'm trying to kill the dude he's going in and out of the thing I'm missing him I jump out of the shield jump over him and he kills me but you for, you forgot that when you were, he plopped the shield down when you were throwing a, a, an arc star so it like affected you <laughs> because the shield caught the oh, arc star man and it was like on a stair so yeah it was on stair it was like indoor this i don't <laughs> why would you put a shield in oh gosh okay rage um so i'm just gonna end it with this they said why no p220 or mozambique buffs <laughs> they said we love y'all beak memes so we're hesitant to lose that the mozambique is the butt end of every joke in the game that that hand shotgun does less damage than melee it is awful it is just terrible it's everywhere too it's it e yeah everywhere. you get like a billion of you drop in mozambique here mozambique mozambique here <laughs> mozambique here give me my shields and recharge here's a mozambique it's just like all this stuff and they're everywhere and they're, and they're terrible 
um i think they're i think they're most effective in like the first 10 seconds of a drop after that drop them they're just useless yeah so i'm glad they didn't touch those yet uh and they gave some good reasons so that's the end of this first he said she said she said he said what do you think you did okay yeah i think we did okay i think we did okay too i think we talk about apex legends y'all can play this go to apex legends or i don't know what the, the link is just google apex legends you, that's probably what you're going to do anyway and it's free to play on, uh, on origin and uh yes. you should definitely play it it's probably the best br game out right now no the doubt it, no doubt about it all right thank you for joining me my lovely wife and uh we will see you both next time bye 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 we want to know what your favorite character is and what weapons you like to use. Why don't you comment down below and tell us. Thanks for watching the video. Please click that subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to get notified. Thanks.